In this tutorial, we will demonstrate a purchase ledger payment entry from Excel to Sage 200 using Codus Accelerator. Using our template, you can add single or multiple purchase ledger payments. In this example, we will add a single payment. To begin, we log in. Your Windows credentials will be used automatically if you have Sage 200 version 2013 or later. First, we will add the bank account. We can do this by right-clicking the cell and browsing Sage data directly from the template. We select the bank account that we want. The data has downloaded into the template and also populates the bank name field. Next, we'll add the supplier in the same way. These are the invoices that are outstanding and need to be allocated. We'll now add the reference numbers and cash date. We can right-click the browser calendar to add the date. We'll also add the allocation date, cash amount, discount, and total to allocate. If we want to, we can manually allocate cash amounts to various invoices. Here we are allocating £2.50 against two separate invoices or we can use Accelerator's auto-allocate feature to automatically apply a cash amount to an invoice. As you can see, the auto-allocate feature has applied an amount to this invoice. Once we are done, we can click Validate to make sure the data adheres to Sage 200 rules. Then we click Save to Sage to upload this data directly to Sage. This confirms that the allocations have been saved. Here you can see that the data has been saved in Sage. The transaction type here is payment. Here is the reference number. And here is the value. Now let's create our own template using the spreadsheet designer. To begin, we select the designer button. In the designer, all standard Sage fields are available. First, we'll enter the number of rows we require. Next, we'll select the fields we want to add. We'll add bank code, bank name, supplier name, reference, cash amount, cash date, allocation reference, allocation amount, and finally, outstanding amount. Once we are done, we can close the designer and then we will download a supplier into the template. We will also add a bank. We'll add a reference, a cash amount and a cash date. We will also manually enter two allocation amounts against two invoices. We click Validate and then Save to Sage. If we go back into Sage, we can see that the two allocations have been saved. Thank you for watching. For more tutorials, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you are interested in Accelerator and would like to obtain a free demo, please contact us, sales at codis.co.uk. To learn more about us, visit our website, codis.co.uk.